another go. Okay, I'm just filming some railway items from my father's collection on the wall here in the hallway. I just tried it down, filmed this before, but somehow I may have deleted it. But I'm just quickly Somerset Railway, some plaques of um, trains, LMS, London Midlands, Scottish, Scottish, and then there's some. You fix uh, trackside building um, kit sets here, all still mint on packages. I I put them in plastic bags to keep them um, nice and tidy. That's the ones on the header cards. Some of the ones here I've got a, a bubble bubble wrap. Well, no, not bubble wrap. Uh, I've got bubble plastic bubbles. Sorry. So I'm just coming across the bottom here. Some engine sheds, some of the buildings, bungalow, thatched cottage. They did a um, detached house too, which is quite rare. Service station kit set. And some signal gantry, some also some ship kit sets here as well. All mint in their packets, bubble bubble packets. I'll just oh, go up here. Um, I'm just panning around the top. Just some of the military airfix kits I have up the top here. And they're all pin. They're all um, in plastic bags to protect the original header in plastic that the kit sets are in. I used to make all these up back in the 60s, late 60s, early 70s, and now they're very collectible because there's not many of the mint ones in the bags left. This historical um, <coughs> collection up the top there of the bags. Series two, they're quite rare. Um, I'm just going across the top with some railway kit sets. Mm. Some aircraft, some of my father's pennants that he had when he was in the Air Force, the RNZA, RNZAF. Some the Matchbox Skybusters on the wall here, just coming down. It's a major air <coughs> airport aircraft uh, die cast metal, fast wing made by Playart. There's a strike master there, well, Jet Provost, Captain Scarlet poster, put out by Anglo Confectionery in 1967, seven cardboard promotional poster for the Captain Scarlet car, so it's quite rare. It's coming down the bottom here to some more fast wing kits with the fast wing. Um, they're all mint and bubble packs. I'll just come across to this. Uh, opposite wall and there's some posters, <coughs> well not a, the paintings, well prints, that was done by Morris Connolly, he was a artist for the RNZIF back in the Second World War, that my father knew, and that's a uh, aircraft, um, he was a French, yeah, I've actually got parts off that aircraft, <laughs> parts of propeller and wing fittings and that's Lindbergh, it's actually a jigsaw puzzle framed up that my father did in this Concorde, Matchbox Concorde, his little Kel um, Kellogg's um, Minton Packet Concorde, it's never, never been opened, that's the Concorde itself framed up, it's a little gypsy moth that Amy Johnson flew in a lot of her records she set back in the 1930s, 20s, late 20s, there's a, a it's a flying boat that's actually a um, set of cards, collect the cards that my father he actually <coughs> framed up. I'm just coming down to some of these airfix uh, aircraft kits, and these were only made from between 1973 74 in this bubble packing before they deleted this packaging and went, the kits went into cardboard boxes. Um, so they originally were in. Um, plastic bags with headers, but FX won a packaging award for this, for the bubble pack packaging because they're very attractive on the headers and when you get a display together like this they look really impressive, so I'll just come back a bit I think, and it's got around about 30, 40 on the wall here, so just going across, there's Red, Red Baron's, um, Baron von Richthofen his uh, Fokker triplane, the three, got the triple wings, the Stuka, 
Mustang and Albatross, they were actually uh, the first issue airfix kits from the late 1950s. They were the first issue with the scroll airfix logo, blue logo, the scroll. Um, I'm just coming down the bottom, this goes right down to the carpet. The Supermarine, Spitf Supermarine Spitfire, which uh, hit win the Battle of Britain during 1940. The Germans were, well, my father was in, living in England at the time, a young boy. Um, there's some Airfix cars down here Volkswagen and Morris 1100, they're quite scarce kits. And there's Bruce to Buffalo, that's on the white header, that's a quite a scarce kit. And, and there's some of the ships. Um, sailing ships in a small scale. Uh, the Douglas Skyhawk, which the RNZ have had in their air in the Air Force. Um, just up the top here, I'm just going. So <coughs> got some historical 54 millimeter figures from oh, back the 1700s, 1800s. Um, there's some Rocco mini tanks underneath them. So I'm just going to come down this here and there's some military tiles I brought back in the mid 1970s and they're quite hard to find now. In fact I haven't seen any since really. Um, I must have done quite a few different designs with some more airfix kits. Down here some military ones from the Second World War, 25 pounder and that. They're all very collectible now. Little Morris, Morris Mini Morris Mini Minor car which are which are very sought after and <coughs> down we're just panning up now the, rock, the Rocco mini tanks that I used to make up back in the late 1960s, early 1970s, and they're a very, um, very well detailed range, and they still hold their ground today. Though <coughs> I think they're as good as anything out on the market, including even the die-cast metal ones. And all I collect as a sport for choice today, because we never had that choice back in the 60s and 70s like they do now. So I'm just coming around to another wall here. <coughs> um, that's uh, some more of my father's pennants up there, uh, Whedon, Whedon's and Woodrum where he used to used to work back in the 50s and early 60s. It's an underground poster. Um, that's some more fix military kits there on the wall. That's a poster of, um, well it's original artwork from the 1940s nose art bomber nose uh, done by Alberto Vargas who did all the Playboy magazine um, girly pinups and um, his artwork's really sought after now and is getting very expensive down below here I've got a dandy a bagatelle game from the 1950s it's quite rare see them on eBay occasionally some hair fix kits on this door here there's some Thunderbirds wallpaper and some Thunderbirds lobby cards some of those came from Mexico one came from Mexico, um, which are quite scarce. And there's some James Bond plaques on the wall, some more Airfix kit sets. There's more Airfix um, car kit sets, vintage car kit, kit sets in, in this part. Um, these are all pretty hard to find on their um, cards now. And I'll re I'll re put them in plastic bags to protect them. Um, on the wall here is a Days Gone poster that came out uh, when they, when the Lido Jack O'Dell released the first six figures um, for his range in 1983. So the poster's quite, would, lo would look, I <laughs> should really get it framed up I suppose, but it looks magnificent. And past and present, that's Meccano Dinky Toys poster. Uh, just coming down to a Fun Ho poster, New Zealand made Fun Ho die cast midgets. Um, it's quite a scarce poster to find. So, um, I'm just going to, part of my Corgi Junior collection there, which is another story, so I'm just coming down the hallway here, just a few other things I want to show you is, I've got a, I'm a bit of a bad finger, uh, or bad finger or a Welsh rock band from 19, originally called the Ivies back in the 1960s, changed their name in 1969 to bad finger and there's a little, um, t-shirt I got off eBay, um, it's called Baby Blue, which is a song they, power pop song they wrote around about 1972, and it's got some of the lyrics on the t-shirt called, this says, guess that's all I have to say, except the feeling just gets stronger every day, 
So I think it's quite profound. And uh, Pete Ham wrote that, and it's unfortunate Pete's not with us anymore because he was one of the most uh, underrated uh, musicians, uh, songwriters of all time. So that's about it in the hallway here. Um, it's fairly narrow, but oh, I've got some TV film related items up the top there. There's some Star Trek and just quickly pan around. Um, Monsters and there's the Flintstones, some Flintstones up there. So, Right. I'll uh, thank you very much for uh, looking and uh, hope to catch up again some stage. Mm-hmm.